Year nine. So this week, a bit of a break from the new content that we've been doing over the last few weeks. And I thought this was a good opportunity for us to think about where we've got to, what we've learned, and do some revision and uh, cue cards and um, kind of consolidate everything that we have. So in front of you then on this slide is uh, the uh, PLC, uh, Personalised Learning Checklist. And this breaks up all of the Cold War and superpowers into small sections. So the focus of today's revision session is going to be 1.1, the origins of the Cold War. So where did it start? So to use this and use this effectively, and when we come back to school, we'll make sure that you have paper copies of these as well. Make sure that you have um, notes and a mind map for each of the points on here and a cue card. Please ignore the pink section 1.2, Development of the Cold War. That will form the work that we are going to put in place for you for next week. OK, so that's the first thing that you need to do. So you're focusing on these six and you're putting together a cue card um, or a mind map for each of them. OK, next slide. So in terms of the beginning of the Cold War, here you have a number of things to look at. You need to read the information first. So the beginning of the Cold War, the conferences, which you will recognize and we've used and we've referred to on a number of occasions. And then once you've finished that, there is a now try this task. So the notes that you have for each of those are going to be um, part of your revision. OK, on to the next slide. So these are narrative dollies. I found these quite some time ago and I really like the idea of these. Um, and Basically, it's a kind of colourful way to tell a narrative. So these are our narrative dollies. And each time you see one of these, it will have the content or what you're going to include down the side. So this one is for the Berlin crisis in 1948. And then each dolly, as it gets bigger and bigger, takes you further and further into the story. So you work not from the top of the page, but from the bottom of the page. So you can see here the first thing that you'd need to do is put into each of the dollies, the bases in each of the dollies, uh, the, each section of the narrative account that you were going to do. I've done the first one for you. So the first thing that you would talk about, the first thing that you would do to introduce would be um, look at the division of Germany and then give an explanation of what happened here. So you could do that as a few bullet points. And then how does it link to the next event? So you're thinking here about the kinds of words that you would use um, that connect it to the next event. And then you put your next event down at the bottom, a little explanation of what happened and how is it linked to the next stage and so on. So your first task then with this is to go through and step by step uh, the Berlin crisis, all the things that you were going to explain um, and then be able to talk about what happened and how it's linked from one part of the story to the next. OK, then we've got some random questions and a video for you to watch to make notes on. So the first question for you to have a look at is two consequences of the formation of NATO. Um, you don't need to do this um, by trying to remember. Um, you can do it that way if you like. But otherwise, then just have a look over your notes for the formation of NATO and think about what happened because NATO was formed. Uh, there's a quick recall quiz and I'll put the answers for this into next week's uh, PowerPoint. And then there's a video here for you to watch on the arms race, um, which gives an explainer. And I suggest you do this in a mind map. Uh, for those of you that aren't that keen on a mind map, please don't be put off by that. Do it as bullet points, that's absolutely fine. Those of you that are going to do it as a mind map, try and do it like a clock so that you've got the mind map in the centre and you work round uh, from the top, putting each event and each part of the uh, the arms race around the outside of that. OK, so that's this slide. Then there is another uh, narrative dolly slide, but this one is on the Hungarian uprising, 1956, so last week's tasks. Again, uh, along the bottom in the red boxes, then you need to put each part of the Hungarian uprising, 1956. So you need to make sure that you're not just talking about the, the, uh, the reasons for the uprising, but that you're talking about the uprising itself and the consequences of the uprising. So it's the whole story 
of the Hungarian uprising in 1956. And I've started this one with Rakosi's leadership. Okay, so again, put your points along the bottom and then work upwards in uh, or on top of each of the dollies. Okay, and then finally, this is what needs to be submitted on Friday. You can, it's an either or task, so you can, and please, you don't have to do all of this. Um, equally, if you wanted to and you felt it would be useful to you, then by all means, do, do all of this. Um, but you need to submit on Friday uh, one of the narrative accounts, so either the first Berlin crisis, 1948, or the Hungarian uprising, 1956, one or the other of those, submit that, and you can do that as a, as a, as a usual narrative write-up, or if you've um, printed out the Dolly's pages and you filled those in, then you can upload a photo of those. Absolutely fine with that. It's the information we're looking at and the way in which you've put that together. Alternatively, a copy of all the cue cards from slide one. So if I go all the way back to the first slide, that means all your cue cards and mind maps that go with each of these. So there isn't a kind of easy task here. By the same token, both of these are uh, supportive for you in terms of exam practice and knowledge building. As always, contact one of us if you are not sure of what to do or you need a bit of help or somebody to talk through it with you. Make sure that you meet the submission date and um, perhaps order yourself some cue cards so that you've got those uh, ready to do the cue card uh, work on the 1.2, the second section, uh, next week. Have a good week, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.